my friends and welcome back to vlogmas today is day number 15 and today was a chill diy day for me so i did a little bit of work this morning went to walmart earlier and got uh got me some pomegranate and a few other things at the store and um, came back home and i've been working on diy projects all evening didn't even get in the kitchen to cook so I'm gonna do a couple of projects. The first one is the stickers that I made for my brother's gift. He owns a business and um, I got him some bags. I'm gonna be putting these stickers on his bags so he can have nice little um, bags to give to his customers. So this is the first um, DIY project that I did. It was a little bit difficult learning how to work the stickers with the Cricut machine. I mean, I had to go through a whole lesson, y'all. But anyway, I finally got it finished, finally got it done, and uh, the stickers came out great. So I'm so happy and so pleased with these stickers. So right now I'm making the gift tags for my stovetop pulpery jars that I'm going to be giving away. And on the gift tags, I have um, just everything that's in the simmer pot and how to how to use the simmer pot and so i'm going to print these out put it with a nice little ribbon and i'm going to place these on the pulpery jars and these will be the gifts that i give to family and friends okay i've got my pen here and i'm going to use a gold colored pen i wish i had red but i don't so i'm going to use gold put that in and then come back over here, put in all the information, and then it's gonna be a go. So Cricut will cut out everything, and it's gonna also print everything with the pen right here. And um, I'll let you guys see what it looks like when they're done. Three, two, one. Okay, so here are the gift tags. I actually had to go with a black pen. The gold is actually a marker. I didn't realize that they were markers. So the marker uh, caused the letters to run into one another. So I had to take it out and use the black pen, but this is it, just something nice and simple, but I'm gonna make it look really pretty when I put a nice ribbon to it. So I'll let you guys see what the entire finished gift looks like whenever it's done. This next DIY project, I am making bottle stoppers. So these are some corks that I bought and you can get these anywhere. I think I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, but they have them at Walmart as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little drill bit to drill a hole at the top. And I bought some door knobs. I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought these fancy decorative door knobs. And we're going to use those to put on top of the corks and have some cute little bottle stoppers. So I bought this little bitty drill from Walmart. It didn't work well because um, the drill bit did not fit inside of the the little drill. So I had to actually use my husband's. And to be honest, y'all, that is probably what I get because I got this drill for like $4.50 and um, I should have known it wasn't going to fit. It wasn't going to work well. I was being really cheap. So anyway, I got my husband's and <laughs> this is the project. So here are the little door knobs or cabinet knobs, whatever you want to use them for. So with the drill bit, I'm going to drill a hole at the top of the cork just like this and let it go all the way through. Once it goes all the way through, you take your knob and you just screw it in and that is it. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running There is no way trying you Alright, so I've completed my stovetop potpourri jars And I've put just a little red ribbon around the jar and I put this little trinket um, I think you guys saw me pick this up in like vlogmas day one or something from Walmart and then there is the tag with all of the um, how to use your stovetop pulpery and so nice little cute arrangement I love it I uh, love even more so that I was able to get these jars this year from Dollar Tree I didn't have to go to Hobby Lobby we've been about a dollar more dollar or so more at Hobby Lobby but this is how they turned out and I am so pleased I love them I think that they are too cute what do you guys think 
right, y'all, it is late, and this is my dinner. I'm eating a very late dinner. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, so I got me a salad here, just a general garden salad with all the regular stuff, and then I put on my homemade croutons, and this is going to be this dinner. This will you. never be over, darling. It's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow, lighting a life with you.